Hi Don, my name is Michael Iorio, one of the internet sales managers here at Peter Balje GM. Just wanted to send you a quick video of the truck that you inquired online about. Just uh, turn the camera around here and introduce myself. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> so there we are. Uh, this is the truck here that you inquired online about. It's a 2014 uh, GMC Sierra 1500. It's a double cab uh, configuration, so not our largest cab, but uh, one of our most popular units for sure. Um, the Sierras are really nice as far as the fit and finish and the quality of the product. They have a really nice uh, chrome bumper and uh, chrome grill surrounds on the new ones. And they've uh, integrated these uh, new projector headlights into the front of the truck as well, so it gives it a really nice sharp look. Um, obviously, these ones are the brand new uh, redesigned model. This one has the chrome wheels and side steps on it. On the back here, you have your trailering package, just down below there, and uh, they built in the wiring harnesses too, right in the bumper here. So you can see you actually have a, uh, a seven pin there. So if your trailer has uh, brakes on it, or just a four pin if you don't have uh, any brakes on your trailer. We've gone ahead and put a box liner in this one. And this is a six and a half foot box on this truck. Just jump inside here. You'll notice that uh, with these smaller cabs, um, they've changed them from a tradition or from a, the old style door that kind of opens up like a suicide door. It opens up backwards where you have to open the front door and then open the back one. Um, they've changed it to more traditional style doors just because it's a little bit more convenient for getting people in and out of the back. So doors open up uh, almost 90 degrees, so very easy to get everyone in and out of the back. Bench just goes up in the back like this. And this particular one has uh, the vinyl flooring in it, so this is one of our kind of more popular uh, selections, just because easy to keep clean and that sort of thing. Lots of storage space back there. Just jump on the inside and I'll fire it up for you really quick. So on this trim here, all your power options, um, power windows, power locks and power mirrors. You get keyless entry on the key fob as well your alarm button there. Um, they even have the child locks uh, power in the back now so you just push that button there and it uh, arms and disarms the child locks. There we are. Fire that up, everything comes to life. This truck's four wheel drive. You have your shifter just down on the floor here. Shift on the fly, so you can go from uh, two, two high to four high, um, and even to four low. Center stack just includes all of your climate control needs. And then down here you have buttons for your uh, traction control and your box light for when you're working in the back there. Um, little screen on the dash here gives you all of your audio, um, your Bluetooth settings, and the vehicle settings as well. Also displays the uh, time and temperature on the outside. Um, there's a trailering mode on uh, these new trucks, as well as the ability to shift the truck manually, with the buttons that you see there. Um, on the steering wheel, you have your cruise control, and all of these new trucks have automatic headlights on them as well, which actually activate with the uh, wipers. Um, so whether it's dark out or not, if you turn your wipers on, you'll get, uh, you'll get headlights as well, just for safety reasons but uh, very, very nice interior they've done in these. The dashes is all uh, one piece now. So you can see all the way around the top, it's all nice one piece dash. Cuts down on shakes and rattles and that sort of thing when the truck gets a little bit older. GM's always done this, uh, this kind of two piece glove box on the passenger side, which is kind of neat. And uh, we actually have a third seat in the middle. So this is a bench configuration. You have a little console here, which gives you, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, it's a little dark in the video, but you have uh, USB and uh, stereo jack input, as well as um, auxiliary inputs for charging phones and that sort of thing. And then this flips up just like that. And you have a uh, third seat in the middle here. So this truck can actually fit uh, six passengers if you need to. Here we are. All right, shut her off. All right, Don, there it is. 
So if you have any more questions, just a quick phone call or an email away. And I uh, hope you like the video.